today's video we're going to be taking a look at a hunter's safety pouch or what I like to call the hunter's survival kit. Stick around. So I just got back from the Central Ohio Bushcraft Meet, which is actually um, not that far from where I live, which is fantastic. But I always love going there because there are so many people um, in the community that I know. And there's some guys that I like to always check in on and see how they're doing and see what they've got new. And one of my buddies uh, from Hooks Outdoors has a YouTube channel. Um, has always coming up with these really cool products and ideas. He's always trying to think of new ideas of things that can make it uh, a little bit easier and safer for outdoors people. And um, he's really into this stuff and he's, he's very much an innovator and an inventor of things. He likes to come up with ideas and then um, create these products and then present them to people. So he um, hooked me up no pun intended, with this new kit that he is putting together. This is called the Hunter Safety Kit. Now, um, it's something that he assembles and he's put together based on um, discussions with people that he knows and actually an incident that happened to someone he knew um, or knows that um, a hunter who had become injured and was unable to access his gear because it was not uh, close to him and ended up laying, uh, I think, out in the woods for a few hours. Um, I think it was like six hours or something before people found him because he had no means of communication, no signaling on him. Now, of course, the the easy idea is you should have a whistle and you should have it around your neck or in your pocket someplace accessible. Um, but I think what what the deal is that that kind of spawned the idea um, for Hooks and he came up with this idea of putting together this mini survival pouch that has some necessity items in it that can be worn around your neck um, underneath your jacket and um, and that way you always have those essential items because that always is the issue with this kind of stuff. We build these kits, we put them in our packs, and then if you need them, well, you have to find them, you have to dig for them. And oftentimes, especially with hunting, your pack is not on you if you're not moving, if you're you know, in a stand or still hunting, it's gonna be on the ground uh, next to you or maybe at the bottom of a tree and you're gonna take the stuff you need with you. So having something that's accessible, um, lightweight, and uh, covering some of the basic needs that you may have, I think is a fantastic idea. Okay, so here's the pouch that he makes. He actually makes these himself, or I, I believe his wife actually makes them. So it's a nice canvas material. It has a single button, of course has his logo on it. Um, and then it has a very nice neck lanyard with and this is super important when you're carrying stuff around your neck, is a breakaway lanyard like that, right? And if you wanted to, you know, make this cord longer, you could easily take this apart and put longer cord on it if that's what you want, but I don't think you want it too long. And I'll show you how it looks on me and my size. Now this basic kit is $20 on his website and there'll be a link down below for that. Comes with some very nice but simple items that everybody can use. So we have our Mylar Rescue Blanket, which we all know is a fantastic item uh, for helping you stay warm. Um, you can stuff this inside your coat and wrap it around you. Um, and uh, it, it does a decent job of at least helping retain heat, and that's super important, especially if you feel like you're going into shock because of injury. And he has this very cool whistle that's got his logo on it. Um, it almost looks like it's 3D printed. That is really super cool. Neat, it's a neat item. And we have a chem light with uh, some cordage attached. Now, of course, you can use this for lighting, um, but also with the string attached, you're able to spin this and create a signal, especially if you're, you know, if a helicopter's coming in, you want to signal them. Um, it's what they call the buzz saw, and it works very well. It's, it's an effective technique for signaling um, air crews or even ground, uh, ground teams. So, 
having a little uh, chem light is a great idea for signaling. And of course we have a signal mirror. And this is a nice one because it's not uh, glass, it's metal. And um, you know, signaling mirrors can be used for ground to air, but can also be used for uh, signaling to people on the ground um, to get their attention. If you have enough sunlight, you can certainly do that. So it's nice because this comes in a protective uh, case and uh, it doesn't weigh much, but I like that it's not glass. So it's not something I have to worry about breaking. And then last but not least, we have two fire starting cubes and a mini Bic lighter. Uh, the colors of the Bic lighter will vary depending on how they're packed, so you don't have any choice on that. But for 20 bucks, this is your standard kit. You get the very nicely made canvas pouch, and you get these items, which really all are geared towards creating signal and uh, keeping yourself warm. And that, that's a fantastic base kit. The other cool thing that he includes with this kit, and I believe this comes with all of them, um, is this um, hunting trip uh, itinerary that you can fill out and leave um, with your family members. That way they know where you're going, what your plans are. Um, you know, if I what I would do is I would get this, I would make a copy of it and have these in your truck. Um, you could leave one at your truck, um, leave one with your wife, and that way if something does happen, um, at least they have some idea of where you're going, what time you left, uh, all the pertinent information um, about you and your plans of travel. So he's also selling this um, additional kit that can be added to the pouch. I believe this is, runs around $15. It comes in a Mylar bag, which um, actually you can use to collect some water. And um, there are methods of uh, boiling water in bags that uh, works out pretty well. Uh, but you get a mini flashlight that runs on a AAA, and he includes the battery. So a nice little flashlight, and it looks like you could add a lanyard to that. Then we have the, the razor blade or derma knife, as some people call these. Nice little backup item. Then we have some micro bank cord on a spool. And what I think is fantastic about this, that he's actually heat shrunk this so um, with packaging. So that way it keeps it all together. Uh, you don't have to worry about um, it coming undone in the, in the neck pouch. And then when you need it, you can just rip into that and then you have it. And then also he includes a couple of these uh, zipper pull compasses. So you could put one in your kit and then maybe put another one on your jacket. So there's all the items of the survival of the two kits together. Now, they all fit inside the pouch very easily. And let me show you. So we have our Mylar blanket. We have our signal mirror. We have our pen light. Micro cordage. Fire starting material. Razor knife, chem light, our whistle, and then when I talked to him, he suggested taking the Mylar bag and putting that in the kit. That way you have at least something to um, collect some water. So there's everything in there. Good quality snap on that pouch. That's not going anywhere. I like the canvas material. Um, if you wanted to, you could wax this yourself or you could do a silicone spray if you wanted to waterproof it. So it's kind of up to you. So even though this kit is uh, being sold as the hunter's uh, safety kit or hunter survival kit. Uh, there's no reason why you can't use this for other activities. This would be a very nice kit for a child. Um, to, they would have it with them if you're going out on a hike, uh, family camping trip. Um, it doesn't weigh a lot. It's very comfortable to carry. Um, goes underneath your jacket easily. 
this will be a fantastic kit to for anybody hiker uh, whatever backpacker camper or hunter and with hunting season getting underway right now uh, with turkey season uh, this would be an excellent item to have on you underneath your vest and just have that peace of mind in case something happens at least you have some basic signaling items and then with that additional kit that he puts together put those two together now you have a very robust um, nice PSK personal survival kit <clears throat> and I think it's a fantastic idea I love it so um, check out his website there will be a link down below for his items um, also check out uh, a video I did not that long ago of another product of his which is the um, the mini takedown buck saw very cool item that's on his website um, and I'll put a link to the video to that as well so you can check that out and um, I like supporting these small businesses like I've done in many videos. I always show all these great companies that we have here in the United States that make fantastic, cool things, but you need to support them. So go to his website, check it out. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching The Prepared Wanderer. We'll see you next time.